I build a sort of hall To the box. Alright. Then I will I'll just clean my tweezers off on that. That will stay like that in the tub. Sorry. In the tub until I'm ready to mask it for at least four to eight hours. That way I make sure it's I know it's done. It's in the tub so no dust gets on it. Alright, so then what is left over straight back in. This bottle of clear, every model I've done in the past five years, I've used it to do the uh, canopies on every single model and I've used it to put at least four layers of uh, gloss coat on it for the decals I wanted, two before and two after, <coughs> generally. Uh, and I've had this well, about five years and as you can see I've still got plenty left so that that's the original one okay and I think that cost me about three pounds when I bought it then so I know it's gone up quite a bit then since then but yeah all right so it is really worth getting right onto the wing I've done some dry fitting and there's going to be a lot of sanding and what have you on this. And no, I normally do all the flat surfaces before I glue it together because obviously it's easier if it's not a flat surface and it's not, you know, not rolling as you're trying to do it. <coughs> and you won't be able to see the panel lines, but they are really, really faint. So if you start doing any sort of sanding to that, you're going to lose them. Yes, you can get blueprints and stuff like that. But what's the point in getting blueprints if you've already got them there? And with the sanding, yes, you are going to lose something, but at least if you've got something there, you can see it. Right, if you so wish, you can use a pencil, if you can't see them that well, and just go over all the panel lines. I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to go straight into it with a rescribing. Right, so what tools do you need for rescribing? There are many many different varieties of tools that you can use and I've seen to have misplaced one of them oh no there it is right when I first started rescribing and what have you I've done quite a few models as some of you will know uh, 
mainly lemons and what have you. Started with just a little darning needle. <coughs> okay, this is even before I uh, got a pin vise. Okay, so that's nice, nice sharp point. Oh, you can be able to see that nice sharp point, so that I can dig into the uh, the plastic. Then I got a pin vise, and if you see, that's just got a needle in it. Uh, this. I tend to use this more for the bits where my new scriber won't get in. I've got the Tamiya scriber. Sometimes you can't get in if you're up to the cockpit because if you see that bit there, see how it's shaped, so it can't get close in. So that's when I use this. All right. <coughs> but this is better than those two. One because when you rescribe it. It doesn't leave a trough as such, like uh, two lips that go like that before it dips down into the thing. With these, it does. Okay? These you leave quite, uh, where it's pulled everything out, it pushes it out to the side. So it's like scraping into it, it's not cutting it. With this, it cuts it. Alright? So. What do you need to make the lines? Right, you can use a ruler as long as you keep it nice and steady. Okay, uh, I can't find my smaller <coughs> 15 centimeter ruler, so that's why that one's gone out. I picked this up, I think it was from Hobbycraft. It's not an actual rescribing template, it's more of a draftsman's template, but it's nice and bendy so it can go over the top of fuselages. Just put it on, tape it down and away you go. <coughs> the next one, which is, has been mentioned before, is dino, dino tape. Okay? And it's the plastic sort. Can you see that? Right? And make sure, to make this go further, you cut it in half. But when you cut it in half, cut it unevenly. So then you know which is a straight edge. I mean, you can't really tell, but on this side, there's a lump or two going down it because I've not cut it straight so I could get a nice straight edge and I knew which side I was going for. Alright? <coughs> so with the wing, how would I do it? Right, on the wing they're all straight flat edges. So, some of the shorter run ones, the ones that go up the wing, I'm going to use my scribing template and my scriber. So we'll start right on the edge, just line it up, and you don't need to put press down with this, okay? All you need is just the weight of the tool. So just like this. Just nice light passes. Alright, that was three passes. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it has just cut into it <coughs> slightly. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. So we'll carry on and we'll see how we get. All right. <coughs> Again, three passes. Just knock all the little bits out. Okay. Only problem with this is I haven't got any temp template for circles and what have you. So I'm going to have to leave those raised, unfortunately. Uh, but to do circles, I'd use that. With some circles like that, and just gently round and round inside it. Okay. So. If you make a mess, do not worry. You can fill it and then rescribe again. And then just make it <coughs> square. Just go into like that on this bit. I don't know if you can see it here. 
just on this bit where it's gone in I want to make sure all they're all nice and so it runs into each other so I'm just going in ever so slightly and then again down this way and it needs a bit more on this way go in carefully you don't slip uh, I'm just going back the other way not meant to but just to give me a channel to cut into there we are and once you when you sand it down on what have you find yourself an old tro toothbrush to clean all the panel lines out <coughs> Hopefully next time I do an update, I will remember to fetch one of my books downstairs to show you some of the bits and pieces I use for reference. Because uh, I try, if I can't, if I haven't got it upstairs, I'll go onto the internet, find reference material, print it out, or what have you. So just nice and gently, no pressure whatsoever. Oh, I just need a little clean there, so another thing I use for panel lines when I'm doing the panel lines, I want to know what's going off and what have you where they're going. And to be quite honest, the best way you come from here all the time, they tend to have the panel lines. You can see them on the painting instructions. So use them. Then you know they're there, so why not? Because uh, on this one, going down here, and I know this because I've already looked at it. Next to the <coughs> the cannon uh, blister, they're not going <coughs> straight. They're going off to one side, so them they're not in the right places. So. I know that from looking at the on at these on my uh, painting painting guides, and I know it from doing some research as well. So, right, because it's got a lump there, I'm going to turn it round, and I'm going to go this side. This way, oh, one, two. Because all this will be sanded off the ones because I need to create a quick sand down anyway right I'm going to have to use some dino tape to go over that bit so I'll show you how I do that bit <coughs> in a minute because it going over the blister it's all rounded and what have you If you're brush painting, uh, as I know from experience with brush painting, I'd make do a few more goes over to make the troughs a little bit deeper. Okay, so that's that one. Right, that's not longer for long enough for to do that whole one. So this is where I get my ruler. Should give you plenty of pressure because you don't want it to move all the way down to 
to the tip. And that's two. And then three. make sure all those lines are running into it so when I come to put a wash in it will go in nicely okay. all you got to do is just run like I said no no weight or anything like that just the weight of the tool alright so now we're going to move on to doing where the blister is around the blister that's it. Right, so I'm just going to cut this about yay big. And the way I do it to make this last a lot, a little bit longer, in case it's needed, some dynamo tape. And I want to see where the line actually goes. So I have seen people build. A line up with nanomo tape. Uh, how effective it is, I don't know if I'm honest. <coughs> uh, yeah, so this is why it, I use it like this. Right. So it's gone back down. Does that? Thank you. Make sure I get the straight edge. Put it on top of the tape. Okay. And then again, so I want to go to there. So up over the top. Down. Up over the top. Down. Right, can't see it on here, but where it's come down on this side, it's not gone. It's not hit it a little bit on where the blister is. So now I'm just going to turn it round and just do that little bit. Okay. So then I want to peel that off. Aye, that'll do me. That'll do me, donkey. And then again, same on the rear of the blister. Put it in the centre first. Along and along. Right, so one, two, three. Need to do a bit more. Here, and nice and gently. Let's have a look. Needs tidying up a bit, but I will do that uh, once I sand everything down and what have you. And it should go nice. Nicely. Alright, so. I hope you can see all that now. And I'll basically, I will do that on every single bit of the flat part. But I'm not going to let you watch that because I'll just bore you to death. So I will get that done and I'll come back and show you in a minute. Okay? Right, see you in a minute again. Right, so it's all done now. That's the the belly 
and the other side of the wings all done. Both top half of the wings done. Right, the fuselage I am not actually going to do until it's joined together and what have you, cause you don't know what every line might not meet up. And what I, what I want to do is go from if it stays still a minute, and right, go together. Go on, do as you told. Right. Yeah. So some might not join up and what have you. So it needs to go. It needs to go all the way over. So I'm gonna do it I'll do it one rush straight run all the way over. And it's saying it would be easy to do the straight lines all the way down. Cause some of some place on this might need filling looking at it. Uh, so yeah, that's basically scribing. Right, so what am I going to do next? Right, might have mentioned I'll I'll do some test fitting and whatever see how bad it is, but I've already done that. So what I'm going to do is there's some wiring that comes off here, so I'm going to install some wiring onto here. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's this side. There's not actually any oxygen canisters in the kit. So I might look at making some oxygen canisters to go there. Alright, there's two canisters that go about there. Uh, again, so maybe some wiring on this side. Uh, and then it'll be onto the cockpit. And I think I'm going to make some seat belts out of tarnia tape. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a cushion in there. Uh, parachute cushion, I don't know, might just put a little slim one in, in the, sorry about that, a little slim one in there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for now, I think. I don't think there's anything else I want to carry on with at the moment. Because uh, I need to do some more research. Get, uh, I'm hoping tomorrow I can at work. I can print some photos off. <coughs> it shows me some of the wiring uh, for the inside of the cockpit and where the the thing goes. Uh, what I might do though is make up a yeah. I might make up a a template for these circles. So if you notice, you can't really see them, but there's circles all the way along the front ones. I need to check what, uh, whether they're accurate or not. Uh, if they're not 100%, so be it. Uh, as long as they're pretty, no, pretty much near the thing. Another thing I have noticed... <coughs> can see that the wings don't quite line up uh, so I am going to have to stand there's quite a quite a prominent step on the front on the leading edge this the where the the barrel sits for the cannon this is is prominent of the the aircraft but not that much okay I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Yep, there we are. There's uh see all this moulding around here. Once that's painted that'll show up, so that needs to be flattened out. Uh, this side's exactly the same, it sits proud, so once it's glued and what have you, it'll need to be sanded back. I'm going to put some, uh, I've got some aluminium rod that I'm going to put in the gun barrels. I don't think I can manage it with the cannons, but we'll, I'll have a look at that. Uh, another thing I'm going to do, uh, if you see on the tail, <coughs> where the, that's the tail fin, and that's the control, the tail fin, I'm thinking about cutting that 
a bit of plastic out there and just pouring a bit of brass wire or something in there to, sim to simulate where the wire actually pulls and what have you. Uh, what else am I going to do? Some of these, they're quite bad where the engine and where they've done the actual, they have put some recessed lines around the engine cow. They're not very straight or or what have you, so I'm going to look at maybe tidying them up. Same with where the canopy slides are. Can uh, the canopy runners there, quite pronounced. Uh, I said there's flash all around here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand this nice and flush, cut a notch out of there, and put some either some clear or just a, a bit of plastic for the landing lights and what have you because they are very looking at the thing they are very very small same goes for the tail one I might cut just cut that off and I cut out a, a bit and put a, a little bit of plastic card or something like that in it I think I might have got some tubing actually so I might be able to use that not tubing but polystyrene rods that I might be able to shape to that with some filler but I'll have a look at that when I come to do it because I'll have to do that once the wings are together uh, I think I might I might see if I've got any mesh Put in for the the radiator. I'll have a look at that. Yeah, so I might do that. Uh, I have noticed the the prop plate, the prop spinner is scratched. That needs taking care of. And I also need to add some rivets to certain places. Not that many. There's only certain points. On the Spitfire, where you can actually see pronounced rivets, <laughs> mainly around the engine cowling and some of the underwing parts. Looking at that, but I will check on that. So I think for now that is it. So on the next update. I don't know whether I'm going to show you me adding the wire or whether I'm just going to add it. But I'll have a think about that because it might, it might not work. <laughs> and uh, What I might do, I might put one or two on and then I'll put the rest on live, so to speak. Okay? So that's it for now and I will see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.